What's up YouTube, it's Steve and I'm back with a new video and in today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of this, the iPhone 6 Plus. So stick around. So if you've been watching my channel for a while you'll notice that about a year ago I did a video review and sort of a, well not really a review but sort of a likes and dislikes of my previous phone which is, is this, the Galaxy Note 3. And I noticed some things that I liked as well as some things that I didn't like. I didn't do a full like unboxing and that sort of thing. Um, I think that kind of style of review there, you know, enough people do that. So I kind of want to do a little bit, some, uh, something a little different. Um, just really kind of giving my impressions of the phone. Um, and even with that, um, I couldn't do an actual unboxing on this one if I wanted to because I bought this phone uh, this morning and like I said, I was coming from a Note 3. So since these phones use different SIM cards, the S3 uses the micro SIM and the iPhone 6 Plus uses the nano SIM. Because they use different uh, SIMs, the uh, store had to actually go in, open the box up, make sure the phone works and make sure the... Uh, Nano SIM was provisioned, so as of that, there's no. You see that there's no wrapper on the phone, but <laughs> the phone is here, and this is the 64 gig version. Now, uh, anybody who has iPhones and knows anything about iPhones will know that the phones come in three variations. You've got your 16 gig, you've got the 64, and the 128 gig. Now. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, you can take it for what it's worth, but it makes absolutely no sense to get a 16 gig phone. Uh, the last one that I had was probably the S3, and the only 16 gig device that I'm using right now is my iPhone 4. And the reason why I say that is because it does not take long at all to use up 16 gigs. And when you have something like software updates come down and you've got a lot of apps on there, one of the things that I found uh, with the latest iOS update is I had to delete some apps off in order to load the update and then I had to go back and re-download those apps. So to keep from doing that, I just decided today to go ahead and upgrade to a 64 gig um, iPhone. Now, after looking at the, or coming from the Note 3, a lot of people might wonder why would you switch from a Note to an iPhone? Well, the only reason that I've been uh, sticking with Samsung and Android period is because of the Note 3, the size of it. Uh, when I went and upgraded phones last time, I had every intention of going from a Note or from an S3, which is what I had, to an iPhone. But I saw the Note 3, it had recently come out much bigger, um, it was awesome to watch movies on or videos on or things like that, and it still is. And in addition to that, for me, the S Pen was one of the greatest things that I really enjoyed about it. So based on those two factors, as well as some others you know, that I've discussed in the previous video, I decided to go ahead and get this phone. I'd always said in the back of my mind that if Apple came out with a larger smartphone, I would be interested. So here is the 6 Plus. This is the larger phone. So first, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the, you know, the stuff in the box out of the way. You'll notice on top of the box there is no picture of the phone. It's sort of a, um, try and hold this up here. If you can see right around the edges here, it's kind of like a superimposed image of a phone. Um, but there's really no picture, but on the side it does have the iPhone branding. And that's not good. <laughs> so inside the box you have the phone, and I've got the Space Gray uh, model. They do have Space Gray, they have the white, and they have the gold. Not interested in getting the white one. Gold, definitely not interested in. Um, so Space Gray it is for me. Um, beyond that, you've got inside the box you've got the standard little packet with the starter the uh, quick start guide warranty information and Apple stickers no need to even waste time with that and inside here you've got your lightning to uh, USB cable you've got your adapter your wall adapter and you've got your ear pods now this is my first uh, this will be my first time using AirPods, so I'm really looking forward to that. It's got the uh, 
we've got the little cellophane uh, paper on here so we'll just go ahead and take that off covers the front and back of the phone now when it comes to size and I know a lot of people are gonna say well you're comparing it against an older generation phone well tough that's what I got uh, you've got the note 3 here and you've got the iPhone 6 plus on the bottom so when you look at the thickness you can see that the iPhone 6 plus on the bottom is much thinner if I can get them to stay still here you can see that the iPhone 6 is much thinner uh, when you stand them up of course it's a little bit the 6 plus here is a little bit taller across the top and that's because you've got that home button down there at the bottom uh, when it comes to screen real estate when you look at both of these phones here a lot of people have complained about the fact that you know Apple's got the big bezel across the top where you've got the speaker and then you've got the uh, piece down at the bottom the home button is well hey somewhere along the way you're gonna have to give up something I mean, everybody wants these you know all these great features you're gonna have to give up something you had the same features on the Note 3. You had that same issue. Here's the speaker across the top and the buttons at the bottom. And you got most of your real estate in the middle of the screen and you had uh, almost no bezels along the side. Well that same thing is what you have on the 6 Plus. So people who are complaining about you know the iPhone 6 Plus in that regard um, in my opinion you need to find something else to complain about because that's a dead issue um, the other reason that I want to switch to this phone is because of the screen now I enjoyed the Note 3 for as long as I had it but Apple knows how to do screens everybody complains that they're still using IPS well they work and they're selling as many phones and iPads and computers as they are they know what they're doing they've got a sweet market here and they perfected it that's one of the things that I was really looking forward to and that's something that I'll be looking forward to um, as far as watching uh, videos Netflix YouTube that that sort of thing um, the other thing camera now I can show you some photos that I took just uh, last night on my note 3 you see these are I mean everybody you know does all these these crazy things and tries to talk about how great the uh, pictures are with Samsung this is probably the best picture in the year that I've had this phone this is probably the best picture that I've ever seen on here um, and that's saying a lot because I've taken quite a few pictures I mean again if you look at this I'm right up on this dish right here and it didn't come out anywhere near as good as I um, expected it to so I was really really disappointed with that now that was another great shot that came out too um, but as far as I'm concerned what I'm really looking forward to is using that uh, camera that is on the iPhone uh, some of the other features that are on here I'm looking forward to using the slow motion now as far as both phones are concerned speaker wise uh, one I can't really say much about the iPhone because I have not used it. I have not made any calls with it. Um, I haven't watched any videos with it, so I can't really speak to call quality. But what I will do is download YouTube and I'll test um, quality of sound through both uh, phones. But with this phone, with the Note 3, one of the major problems that I had is using this phone, using the, the speaker uh, while on the phone. One of the things that I prefer to do is get in the car, um, if I'm on the phone, put the speaker on and set the phone down and drive. All too often I find myself holding the phone and talking like this because I can't hear anything that's coming out. One, because the one little speaker that Samsung decided to put on this phone is right here along the bottom. And two, it's not the loudest thing. Now I know uh, Apple is not going to improve much in that regard because they're pretty much in the same boat with that one uh, speaker down here at the bottom but I am looking for some improvements so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pause right now I'm going to download uh, the YouTube app on this phone pull up a couple of videos on both and see how they respond so I'll be right back alright so I've logged into YouTube on both devices and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a short clip from each one
right, so that is the iPhone 6 Plus. Now we're going to look at the Note 3. Like this, there's really slight, uh, there's really not much of a difference, but I'm sure when it comes to you know call quality and actually in a real world environment where there's other noise, maybe there's a difference between the two. I don't know, but it really got aggravating using the note. Now, one of the other things that I do want to bring up is using the uh, Android devices that I've used. If I wanted to watch the same video. Uh, let me do this here. Okay, we're watching this same video here. This is a video re review I did. Uh, let me turn this down some. This is a video review I did for Sleeping Dogs a while back. Now, if I turn the phone like this, the only way it's going to play in this mode, in landscape mode, is for me to go up and tap the uh, screen rotation button, and then it turns. Alright, so what I've seen with the iPhone 6 Plus is that if I want to play this video If I want to play this video and I turn it sideways, it automatically adjusts. So I don't have to worry about hitting any other switches. Now some folks say that might get a little annoying because it might uh, auto-adjust. I guess either way, uh, there's going to be folks upset about it, but I would rather have it adjust You know, when I turn the phone. Uh, automatically. Uh, sometimes I forget about that and if I go to play a video and turn it and I'm sitting there waiting I gotta go back and you know hit a button for it to do it. I don't want to have to deal with all of that. Like I said this is just a quick uh, first impressions video of what I've noticed about the device so far. Uh, I will go through uh, using it throughout this week and then I will come back later and post a full review and maybe even do a comparison between these two phones. Um, so if that's something that you guys might be interested in, let me know down in the comment section below. But uh, I will be back later on, and you'll hear my thoughts on it. Uh, let me know if you guys happen to have an iPhone 6 Plus. Let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, let me know some good apps or some good things, some good uh, tips to help use. Let me know what your battery life is like. That's something that I'm also going to be um, exploring throughout this week and I'll be talking about in my follow-up uh, video. So with all of that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.